Yo guys, welcome back to another WD detailing video. I'm RJ, Brent's behind the camera, and today we're working on a early 1940s Plymouth Super Deluxe. Um, oh, Special Deluxe, I can't even get the name right. Um, I'm very unfamiliar with cars that are uh, from this time period, pretty much only 60s and up, I have any understanding or even uh, recognition of. Um, but this one was actually found in the same barn that the 1951 DeSoto Deluxe, Custom Deluxe, Deluxe Custom was found in, um, but this one was in similar condition with dust and dirt all over it. And obviously it's still dirty and still needs a good wash um, to see what we're working with. But um, unfortunately, when I went and picked up the first car, this one was left outside right next to it. And I asked the lady to put it back into the barn so that it would still look in the condition that I found it in, or rather that it came out in. Um, but the rain has washed away a lot of the dirt. But anywho, this one's actually in really good shape as far as, um, Structurally, I don't think there's any structural rust, which is uh, which is crazy because it's older than the DeSoto was, um, and the interior is actually in better condition too. Um, obviously, there's a lot of the surface rust, which is, uh, I mean, you know, it's gonna have to get painted either either way, or it's gonna be a rat rod, which I think either either way you you slice it, it's it's pretty cool. But the suicide doors are big pimping. Uh, I don't think I've ever, I mean, the only cars that I know that have these is the Rolls Royces that have the suicide doors. I'm sure there's plenty of others and everyone in the comments will tell me that I'm so stupid that's the only car I think has suicide doors. But anywho, um, there's quite a lot of interior or exterior pieces in here looking like the front grills right here. Um, so here, maybe we'll pull this out. Let's try and get this sucker out. Oh, uh, I don't know. Come on. So anyways, that's what it looks like with the front grill. How much money do you think it'll take to get this thing back on the road? This one, if you're not gonna paint it, and depending on what the brakes are like, oh, you wouldn't know until you pull the wheels off. I'm not sure. I don't know enough about these cars to put it in an exact estimate. I would say probably like seven, eight grand. So while we go ahead and start taking everything out from the inside, I want to ask the question of the video. So leave your answers in the comments below. Do you guys think that this car is worth saving or do you think it's more of a parts car slash scrap? After the detail, we took it back to our mechanic, Ray, and we got his opinion on it. So make sure you guys watch all the way till the end to see what he says, just like we did with the DeSoto. And if you think it's worth saving, like RJ just said, how much do you think it would take to get it back on the road, make it drivable, and make it a fun Sunday cruiser? Leave your answers in the comments below um, this is broken so all right we'll hold it from the bottom I'll let you get it thanks dude dude you know how, how hard it is to break these milk crates holy crap all right let me grab a box what year do you think this ice scraper is from uh, probably the 1910s it's got a wood handle they still come with wood handles some do we haven't done this before, but I figured you guys might like to listen to what we talk about when we're doing our videos or detailing. So I'm going to leave a lot of this stuff in. And if you guys enjoy it, let us know down below. If you think it's dumb and I should just leave it out, also let us know. Don't you wish there were still milkmen, you know, that brought fresh milk to your door? Yeah. Little bottles of milk, little glass bottles. Sure. Bring back milkmen, people. You I'm be a milkman. Why don't you do it? Hmm. I don't know. I got this car cleaning business. Oh my god, dude. Holy smokes. That bumper weighs a kajillion. Oh my gosh. What is all this? Like I said, there's so many parts in here that um, don't look like they go on the car. So I don't know where they're all from. Dude, this is a piece of metal. Holy smokes. <laughs> this is like some... What's crazy is this isn't even like a structural bumper piece. I think this is just like a cosmetic chrome piece. And it weighs... Dude, if this thing doesn't weigh 20 pounds, uh, or more maybe, yeah, it probably weighs 20 pounds. How excited do you think Ray's gonna be when we drop this off at his shop? Actually, he's looking forward to this one. Yeah, so this is the front bumper, the cosmetic front bumper. Oh, God. That's what I'm saying, this isn't, oh, I guess this could, could have been a crash bar. Here, go up with it. So we can go around the door, there you go. Bag it up, bag it up. This is a front, not a rear. I think. Here's the all brand new seals and some spark plugs, but it's been infiltrated by mice. 
that I've eaten it all up. There's mouse poopies all over. Look how freaking cushy these were. Wow. The springs are all good still. The foam's not, you, you know, usually when the cars are, well, especially when cars are this old, the foam has basically completely dried out and it's like crusty almost. It's like a powder, turns into powder when you touch it. So the fact that these still have play, this is probably really, really comfortable to drive around in back in the day. Anywho, we just got everything out of the inside of the car now. Uh, we have it all over the shop, laying on the ground. Um, some of the parts I think go to this vehicle, other parts I don't think they go to this vehicle. So we'll let Ray sort that out when we bring it to him after. But I think the plan is for this car um, to give it its, its best hope at being sold and, and uh, refurbished because I do believe that this one is, is probably worth doing. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a big vacuum on the inside, a good wipe down, and then the outside with all this surface rust polishing with the foam pads trying to remove the oxidation is almost it's frivolous. Uh, it's the pads will shred themselves uh, with this with something so abrasive. I don't think that polishing it is going to make uh, or break the sale of this vehicle. So I think we're just going to do a real good wash on it. We'll at least get to see what the color of the car looks like when it's wet um, or what it used to look like, which I think will be cool. And then we're going to take the raise and we're going to get his opinion on whether or not it's worth saving. And uh, last time everyone in the comments lit up our buddy Ray uh, because he said that he thought that a soda wasn't worth saving. I didn't think so either. I thought it was gonna cost a lot of money. So we're, uh, we didn't tell him that you guys were so mean in the comments to him. So we're gonna see what he says this time and, uh, and see if you guys are gonna roast him again. As we start to rinse down the car, you could see that beautiful black color come back from 1941. It's really cool to see.
And now moving on to the interior, we went ahead and gave it a good vacuum. And then we ended up pulling out the floor mat in the front and power washing it just to try to bring it back to life a little bit and wiping down everything on the dashboard and then the windows. If you guys have enjoyed the video up until this point, make sure you're subscribed and you leave a like. It really helps us out and we appreciate it. All right guys, so we finished up the Plymouth and we dragged it back to our buddy Ray's. You guys might recognize him from the DeSoto video. Uh, he has a DeSoto actually right over there, still trying to figure out what is going to become of that car, but um, he was also destined to get this car too in his lot. And uh, we figured that we'd go over the car with Ray, see what, uh, what your opinion is and, uh, and see if you think this one's worth saving or if, uh, if she's a parts car or unfortunately maybe a scrapyard car. I don't think it's too bad. I don't think it is either. This one's got a lot more life in it than the DeSoto. It's not nice. as rotted. It's got semi of an interior in it. Right. So the inline six, the sparks don't actually look too old. And this one's even got keys. Yeah, I know. It's a, a special, uh, must have been a special edition or something. <laughs> Cause Cause the this DeSoto one comes didn't. with keys. The other one we're going to have to call somebody who knows how to hotwire to get that car started. I don't think there's too many wires you'll have to fumble with. So it might be easier than you, than we think. But um, what do you think to actually get this thing? Running, street legal, you drive it with brakes. What do you think the total total would uh, would be? Bare bones, get it running and driving. I could see you sinking in four or five grand into it just to get it moving. You think that's just uh, mechanical, no cosmetic at all, four yeah, or five? Yeah, just mechanical. Yeah. I mean, by the time you go through the brakes, brakes been sitting that long, fuel system, stuff like that and go through everything. I mean, I'd, I'd see it being around that number. Right, especially trying to find parts for something that's sold. Oh, Every, it's, you got to sit down and figure all that and haunt it. I mean, even parts on new cars are terrible to get, let alone a 41 Plymouth. Right, right. This one actually would make a perfect project car for somebody. Yeah. You know I mean, somebody looking to put a rat rod system in it or... Exactly, and that's what I was figuring is someone would probably buy it as a roller instead of fixing it up, you know, as is, and then just swap a little bit bigger of a block and nice exhaust and, and brakes and, you know, try and get in it for... I don't know, maybe you know, five grand, six grand all together. And uh, the good news is too, that we have all these spare parts in the back of the truck. 
and uh, you're lucky enough to help us unload them. So I can do that. I'm kidding. We'll do it right. Oh, <laughs> it's all good, man. Always good to see you. Anyways, if you guys like the video, uh, hit the actual like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe and we'll catch you next time.